A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to talk about how to make a flash video galleries. Guys if uh, you ever try to search for this uh, subject on YouTube you'll find that uh, there is not too much around. There's hardly uh, any tutorials made on this subject so it's probably a subject that needs uh, more attention and that's uh, where my role comes in so I tried to bridge the knowledge gap here. Guys, in my example, I've used two videos, but uh, you, you, f you, you should feel free to use as many videos as you want. All right, there will be a simple alteration to the action script, and uh, you should be able to include uh, more than two videos as well. Before I actually start explaining how this uh, script works, let me show you a published preview first. I'm going to hit Control Enter on my keyboard, guys. Here it goes. So guys, this is the very first video that's right up on the screen now. Okay. Very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys, today I'm going to talk about iframes in Dreamweaver. Guys, a very good day to you people. My name is Mohit uh, and guys, today I'll teach you how to... A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys, today I'm going to talk about iframes. Okay, so guys, as you saw, that when I click on the button the label of which is video one the video one plays and uh, similarly when I click on the video two button the other video plays okay if video one is playing and I hit the button video one again and again and again nothing happens because the video one is already playing also if you notice that uh, we have a skin we have a skin which is set to auto hide which means only when you take the mouse pointer over the video component do you see the skin when you take it away when you take it off it does not all right so guys uh, what i'm gonna do is i will be kind of destroying this project and making it once again before that let me take you inside the actions panel guys i've just used 12 lines of action script 3 okay with at least three lines which are completely blank for the spacing purpose so it's a very short line nine line of script <coughs> alright very simple very effective uh, action script guys and guys I have used uh, two videos they are in the format mp4 okay I could have used an FLV format video as well so flash will play an mp4 or it will play an FLV both are fine okay so as I said I'll be kind of destroying this project kind of not completely but my purpose is to redo it so I can actually explain it very well to you so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna destroy or take away the FLV playback component okay that's gone I'll keep the buttons now the buttons have been placed on the buttons layer guys the action script is on the actions layer alright and uh, let me take you to the root folder or the publish folder okay guys uh, have two videos out here video one and video two so what I'm gonna do is let me take away the SWFs this one goes away and so does this one so all that I'm left with is video one and video two in my uh, folder where the SWS F's will get published so you need uh, to actually pull up the videos externally okay they are not in the flash interface alright so they are not in the flash interface you need to pull them up externally alright guys so uh, now what I'll do is I'll go back to my flash interface I'll say a file and then I'll say publish settings and then I will uh, click on this folder and I will show flash the published folder alright so that's situated on the desktop and there's a folder called flash video gallery that's where I'll be saving or where I'll be publishing my SWFs and then I'm gonna say OK alright next guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna going to go to the windows window menu uh, option go down to common libraries and then I'm sorry 
go down to components beg your pardon components it is and then I'm gonna pull up the FLV playback component all right next guys what I'll do is I will increase the size the width and the height of the FLV playback component so here goes making sure that this uh, symbol is locked so the width and the heights increase together all right uh, all right more or less uh, where I want it okay so increase the size next what I'm gonna do is I'll select the FLV playback component go to the properties inspector and guys I have the component parameters in front of me so the autoplay should be on which it already is by default let me also set the skin auto height to on which means that only if I'm hovering over uh, the uh, you know the video should the skin show up otherwise not let me also change the color of the skin and let me also drop down the alpha to a 0.5 for the skin okay the volume is one which is the max volume the min is zero so I'll leave it at one I'll not mess around with that and let me go to the source and then I'll click on the browse button browse for the very first video I have video 1 mp4 and video 2 mp4 I'll select video 1 mp4 I'll say open and say open once again making sure that this checkbox match source dimensions is not on if it will be on guys then you'll see the video in the original size which I don't want I want it to fit the FLV playback component so I'm gonna say okay and uh, within a few seconds you will see the very first video come up on the screen alright next guys what I'll do is I'll go to the properties inspector and I'll give it a an instance name and the instance name should match the action script in the action script guys notice that my video is the <coughs> name of the FLV playback component so I'm gonna give it the same instance name all very good before I actually dig inside the actions panel once again and explain the action script to you let me test my um, project once again so a control enter on my keyboard there is the very first video guys all right and a very good day to you people my name is Mohit and guys today I'm second one a very good day to you people my name is Mohit uh, and back guys today I'll back to first and if I click on video one again and again nothing happens a very good day to you people my name is Mohit and guys so all very good all very nice wonderful so the time is right for me to go inside the actions panel and explain the action script to you okay guys in line number one what I've done is I'm imported the flash uh, sorry the video class okay that's a must must um, thereafter I've created a variable <coughs> my button of the type array and what I've done is I've stored both the buttons btn1 and btn2 uh, inside the array and then I've created a for loop okay this for loop will make sure guys I will not be going into a lot of details how to uh, work with the arrays and the loops in tandem I'll not be taking you through a lot of uh, detail into that but uh, in short let me tell you effectively what it does is it adds an event listener to BTN1 and BTN2 of the type click okay it's a mouse event so whenever somebody clicks either on BTN1 or on BTN2 okay uh, a function called click handler will be uh, fired off and what that does is if the event dot target is btn1 which means if the button clicked is btn1 then please uh, ensure that the source of my video flv playback component is video 1.mp4 or else if it is btn2 then my video which is the flv playback components instance name the source of which should be video 2.mp4 okay in case you had more than um, let's say two buttons and two videos you you should just say a comma btn3 a comma btn4 so on and so forth and uh, you should say event dot target is equal to is equal to btn1 event dot target is equal to is equal to btn2 event dot target is equal to is equal to btn3 so on and so forth so that'll ensure that uh, 
you have added more than uh, you know one button and uh, more than uh, one video so depending on how many buttons and how many videos you want you can just uh, go on adding it out here as well as out here all right guys so it's a very simple and uh, short uh, script that is equally effective guys very very effective so uh, let me know how it went please implement it on your projects i'll see you soon with yet another flash or action script 3 project or it could be dreamweaver as well bye bye take care peace